For this recording, we'll be going or we'll be demoing how to execute scheduling in Project Builder and in the Gantt view, and we'll also take a look at our scheduling statuses. So what you can do is begin by opening your project, which you have previously created, that contains now networks, activities, durations, and relationships. The first exercise we'll go through is we need to go ahead and observe the current status of our project. We want to make sure it hasn't been scheduled yet. So we can go down to our drivetrain. Look at that, that's just our first WBS element with a network headed below it, and you'll see it says created an NTUP. Again, NTUP means dates are not updated. Secondly, we'll be going through and looking at how to schedule from this view, which is our project builder view, and this is our project builder um, home screen of our project that we're in, so we can schedule from here. And third, we will demonstrate an alternative method of scheduling in the Gantt chart. Uh, or our project planning board. We already went through the automatic scheduling that can happen if you have your network header radio box checked off, but we won't be worrying about that in this demonstration. Um, when we're in our Gantt view, we can actually observe the impacts that the scheduling has had on our project in real time, and there'll be a graphic for it. One thing we need to remember when we're in our project builder view is we always want to schedule from the top of our project or our project definition. So we want to make sure if we're ever going to command it to schedule that we're up here on our project definition. So what we'll do is we can go through here and um, we've highlighted our project definition. We can go ahead and command it to schedule now. So what we'll do is we'll go edit, dates, schedule, and you'll notice down in the bottom left corner, once that's happened, once that's been carried out, that it says scheduling has been carried out. What we can observe here, we can go ahead and navigate through our project and just notice some of the changes it's made um, on our specific um, activities that are under our, our network header. So um, if we go to our drive shaft, which would be our first activity, we can go in there and go to dates, and you'll see that this one starts on 3.3 and ends on 3.12. You'll notice here we, we had a start-start essentially with this relationship, so it's also 3.3, 3.12. But when we move to bearings, you'll notice that bearings were a uh, finished start between the universal joints and when they can begin. So they start on 3.13 and end on 3.22. We had a similar relationship between our bearings and our propeller. We had to finish our bearings before we could... Um, start the propeller. So that one starts on 323 and goes to 41. You can navigate through the rest of your activities and notice the same types of relationships. Before you do anything, uh, or before you do anything after you look at that, we're going to make sure we do not save our project here. We're going to back out. We're going to tell it not to save because we don't want to save the changes that we made there. And what we'll do is we'll go back into our project And we're going to do the same thing from our Gantt view or our project builder chart. So we've come here. We'll go into our Gantt view, which is this icon right here. It's our project planning board. We can click on that, and that's where we're actually going to have a, a graphic as to the uh, layout of our project. This is an example of what an unscheduled project might look like for you. And I'm just sliding this over so we can see certain um, fields that they've included up here. So the first thing that we can do is go ahead and look at our um, icon over, or our graphic over here. And you'll notice that the um, blue lines, they indicate that that's a network. That's our drivetrain. That's our network that's um, our network header, our WBS, and the red lines indicate the activities that comprise those networks. So here's our red lines. The reason you're seeing multiple red lines here is our layout, our actual dates that are viewed. We can go up to this icon and we can choose if we want our forecasted dates on here and we'll talk about those in a later um, later demonstration. But we can take that off and maybe like our latest 
start dates and do that and it'll clean that up so you can see it a little bit better and again we're unscheduled here we haven't scheduled this so that's why um, everything's going from the same date you'll notice here 3 3 to 3 12 so that's our earliest start and our earliest finish and then these cover our activities over here so what we want to do is we want to utilize our select all icon go here that's put filled up all of our radio boxes you can do that manually by holding shift or control also, but next what we're going to do is we're going to schedule. And so it's a little bit different when you're in the project planning board or Gantt chart here. You go to edit again, but instead of dates, we're going to go to function, then schedule. And you'll notice in real time that this just changed. Our, our whole uh, graphic just changed, and it's going to show um, all the different... the the different lengths and times. So here's our first two activities that begin at the same time. We looked at those in the last one. They have the uh, the finish start relationships with this third activity. And so that's our bearings, which begins second. And then our final one, which is our propeller, and that, that begins third. And you'll notice also our colors have changed. And we've got a few more colors included in our chart. What we've got here, what it's showing us is is our red is going to be our critical path. That's those are going to be our, our uh, critical path throughout our project. The blue is going to show the overall timeline in our project. And then you're going to see lines in between or gray lines outside of it. You can always just go up to your legend. And your legend is going to show you and define what those are, what all those lines depict in your graph. The other thing you'll need to notice, or you should notice, is you should notice that all of our dates have changed from being the same to following through and having different dates. So what we've gone through here is we've gone through uh, our two places to schedule from. We've revisited uh, the automatic scheduling to make sure it was turned off and that we weren't visiting here. And we checked our um, status of our project, which we can go back to. We can save our work here. We can reopen our project. We can go down to our drivetrain again, and you'll notice it's just got created on it. We have been scheduled.